Hello all. So welcome to Cloudy ML. So today we are going to talk about how to build your resume for data analyst. So let's get started. So now as an aspiring professional, you will have some good options for showcasing your skill set on your entry as freshers and also as a mid-range professional. So here goes my outline of the resume. So the first thing is the contact information. So here you have to keep your contact information precise. Why, what I mean by the precise, you should make it crisp. There should not be any sentences in it. The three things you must include are your name, your updated phone number and your professional email ID. Okay, so here you can also include your LinkedIn profile and also some other uh, profile if you have if you are using other social media accounts. It is up to you. Adding your address is optional, yes, and you should avoid non-professional sounding email address. It should you should your email address should be very professional. Now, second phase, you have to write a very clear career objective. And this must, must include two, three sentences of your interest and candidacy of the position. So career objective must be customized as per the job description so that the specific skills are highlighted and it makes you the right fit for your job. Here, if you are a professional who have already worked in a related industry, you should write a career objective. Otherwise, you should, you should also, if you are a fresher, you should, uh, you, you can write your resume or your career objective as per your uh, internships and all. Similarly, you should use an objective if you have resume without experience in the industry, are changing careers or have noticeable gap in your job history. Now, you should use concise bullet points that demonstrate your ac accomplishment. So remember guys, nobody is going to read your story out there. So you should always use a particular points bullet points basically so that everybody can understand what is your data analyst experience. Here you have to quantify your experience. You have to cite numerical figures when possible to demonstrate your achievements. So when you are writing your experience, so here you have to write your numbers like these are for the persons who are actually have worked in a data analyst role. So there you can write some figures, some numbers like you have been uh, enrolled in like so, so, so many projects. You have done so such job, such project, which increased your company's turnover, maybe to some number. So these all figures you should write if possible. And you should use your industry specific terminology so that the hiring manager recognizes your expertise. Also, if you are fresher, you can write your internships and you should write your pro whatever projects you have, academic projects you have been done and also your, uh, also your skill sets. So here, let us go to next point. So in the experience, wherever you will write, suppose you are writing an uh, internship or you are writing your professional career. So you should start your most recent job or the internship when listing your professional data analyst experience, you have to follow the reverse chronological order. So suppose if some professional is uh, making a resume or a CV, so in that case, they should write their first company, like the current company in which they are working as the first option, then it, go, it will go uh, reverse. Like what will the second last company? What was the first company? Something like that. Similarly, when you are writing your uh, internships about internships, you should also write as, as per your chrono chronological order. 
Similarly, you have to list up to six respond up to six responsibilities and achievement under each job, but it should be limited to three and four, three to four lines. The major thing here is please use active verbs rather than personal pronouns. What do we mean by active verbs? And uh, active verbs means that you should write that have been a part of a team and and we achieved such target. For example, you should not write I was I I helped my company to achieve so so turnover. There should not be any I which should be written in your CV. You should always write an active verb here. And also, we would suggest you to tailor the information or, you know, customize your experience as per the job description to fit in for the job profile. So these are few things which you should write about your experience. Now, education sector. So this is pretty much straight. So you should write your degree type, major, what is the university, location, what is the award, all these things you should write. You should also mention the name of the college, degree, GPA of graduation. For experienced candidates particularly, just degree and college name and the year of graduation would be sufficient. They should not write the GP and all because that does not matter later in the career. You should always focus on the degree, college name and the year, year of graduation. Just three things for an experienced candidate. But for fresher, you should include your college uh, name, GPA, year of graduation, all these things. Okay. And you should also here also you should uh, start with your highest degree that that means you you should also use the chronological order in a reverse way. So you you so whatever suppose you have done graduation. So you should start with graduation. Then you have to uh, go to your 12th, 10th, something like this. So you should follow the reverse chronological order in this also. So now for the skills. So basically, guys, there are two types of skills which you should actually write in your CV or a resume, which are hard skills and soft skills. So you are aware about the hard skills about what a data analyst should have. Hard skills are the examples of hard skills are given here, which is the statistical method and packages. You must be familiar with SQL. You must be familiar with the database design. You should. You will be working with Python, R. You would be doing data mining, data pre-processing, -pre EDA, all these things. So that is that these are hard skills, basically. But what are the soft skills? So soft skills are basically your teamwork. Your, your nature to work in a team, your patience, all these things are soft skills. Soft skills are such which can make you fit for the job for, uh, job for a longer duration of time. So you can speak like, I am a, I am a team player. I have a leadership quality. I, I can, I, I, I have the patience. I, I can strategize my work. So all these things, so you can Google it out, whatever the soft skills are there and you can actually, you know, include all those soft skills as well so that it will highlight to your uh, recruiter that yes, this guy is having the knowledge of these soft skills also and be prepared to get some questions of uh, about these soft skills in the interview. Now, the last section is the optional addition in your resume. So here it is upon you. Uh, if you can write any activities or any academic product, uh, academic projects, or you if you have got some projects by volunteering, all these things, hobbies and interest, it is self-explanatory. But remember, you should always write those things which you are actually interested in. So that, you know, you don't get blank when somebody asks you any questions. Then you should have the certification license. You, you can write it, awards, what languages you know, relevant courses if you have done any, either from Udemy or some of the additional certifications uh, which you have done. 
So this is the basic outline of your resume or CV. And here, this is the basic outline and you can use this outline to, you know, change your resume, customize your CV as per this. But remember, one and very most important thing in this is you should actually know what I, what you are writing there. Because if you have some half information, if you are putting it in your CV, then it you might get stuck up in a face-to-face -face interview. So my suggestion for everyone is that whenever you are writing some skill set or whenever you are writing about your experience, the, uh, the, the type of work you have done, you should actually write the correct things and the things in which you have 100% information and 100% knowledge about all those things. So otherwise, you should not write any such things in which you are half knowledgeable or it is half baked. So this is my personal suggestion to all of you. So after this, we can see some sample data analyst interview, uh, sorry, resume. I have got this from Google. You can actually go and you can see a lot of resumes, such CVs. So here, as you can see, this is for Carla Swain and you have you know, very nicely written contact information on the left hand side, wherein uh, she has written her email ID with the phone number, the city in which uh, she lives and also the LinkedIn link. So here, this is also a very important thing that any recruiter can directly click on your LinkedIn profile and you can uh, he can go and actually see what you are doing and what are your experiences are. Then this, this is the education. So she has written Bachelor's of Science, Data Science, University of California. So this is the sim uh, one uh, education which she has written. But if suppose you, you, if you want to include your 10th standard, 12th standard, maybe college, masters. So you can write it as per your uh, reverse chronological order. You can, you can actually make a space for that. Then you have, you can write the skills like this, Python, SQL, R, Tableau, Excel, Azure, SciPy, data pre preparation. There are an N number of skills which you can write. And see the uh, career objectives. This career objectives is very important because here you, you're actually, what you want from the recruiter and the company is actually highlighted. So this is this is very important thing and many recruiters directly asks direct questions uh, uh, for on this career objective. So you should always have, you know, career objective should be on your tips actually. So there should not be any terms written in career objective in which you can stuck or you, you can get stuck during the interview. Similarly, the work experience. So see, this is a sim, sim, uh, one job she has done and she has written it here. Then so the projects in which she has actually worked. So all these things are written. Similarly, this is about the second resume. Here also the same thing is there. So see here work experience. So she has not written her career objective, which I would not recommend. You should always have a career objective written first place. Here you can see the work experience in a reverse chronological order also. May 2018 to current, then August 2016 to May 2018. This is how you have to follow the procedure. So this is the third resume. Again, this is the education, skills, work experience, objective. So that's it for the video, guys. If you like our content, Please like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with others.